Hello there, this is Canva. Today I'll be reviewing the World Conquer 2 Cold War mod. This is version 3.3.1 and we'll be doing a quick review about it of all the features. So basically some things have changed for the conquest. I'll go through all of them and see. We may go through some same the same conquest as last version, but it's alright. So the first difference you notice is the Allies mission for the mission one. In the last version, there was only France, Germany, and the USSR. Now he added British troops controlling. I think both. I think they're controlling just the Belgium mostly and Netherlands. So see the race to Berlin with. It's between with you, French, Br British, and Soviets, and get against the German forces. So basically, the most the biggest challenge is you have to get to Berlin first before the Soviets and the British when you're doing this mission. Just think of a of a mini challenge. You want to be first. I know there is a big change in the 1942, but we'll check the all the conquests again for any changes. Let's see any differences. Not much, but I think Asia got a little bit expanded. PRC is neutral. That's I think that's the new thing. Europe nineteen forty three, let's take a look. Ally invasion of D-Day, but against the common turn faction. PRC controls most part of most of Asia right now. That part of this map. India's on their side, but there's a U.S. and British force counterattack. Saudi Arabia's neutral. Ottomans join NATO. So pretty interesting. But I like the color he did for the for France. It's a very good color which I like. We'll take a look at North America. I doubt it would be this I th I think it's the same thing as last time. I might be wrong. Sorry, Ottawa. We're still friends. Let's see. But a part I really like would he add the Japan part, the part of Japan here. Which is pretty which is kind of kind of a good challenge. Because if you're playing as the Soviets, you have to conquer both US, Canada, and Mexico, then you have to deal with Asia in case your allies fall. But you have a force here to deal with it. North Korea is right there. We'll take a look at now it's Europe 1945. Let's see any any differences. Europe 1955. And there is. So basically this is Europe what I've been when I checked, it's Europe 1946. German Republic forces are finally taking a position in Berlin, which is here. Which is right here. As I think they're I think they're fighting the Soviets, Poland, and the Warsaw Pact faction. So that's a minor change. So I doubt there's any changes for these three that much. When I checked, but the big change is here, the Pacific of 1942. Last version, it had just only Asia. Now, I'll show you what, what's next thing. Now you have to deal with a big, large map from 
the Soviet Union from the Soviet Union. I think it's from M Misk. You have almost most of the Soviet Union, Mongolia under Soviet control. I think their own faction, the PRC, the Republic of China, French, British, the Japanese Empire. And the Allied troops. So basically, just the Soviets versus the the Allied faction. The part I like is a very large map. So you have to be a lot of you have to be very careful. Keep getting a lot of resources, and to, to deal with the force. Because basically, if you're playing as America and Soviets control this controls the entire map. They'll, they'll be given a very strong income. It'll be impossible to beat. Even Australia. Maybe in the next update he might add he might add some countries here to make it good, to make it just more factions into it. Give Turkey maybe on the NATO side, launch an offensive. But now we can put it's a very interesting. He took very time making this map mostly I got it from Ben Firm, put it on the and requested for him. He did a lot of good modifications for the map, which is pretty nice. So what do we do? Let's just skip a turn and see how how long would be. Five five speed, let's see. If it takes more than 30, 10, 20 seconds, I'm just gonna quit it out. Let's see. If you remember the whole world mod, it took a it took a very long time just to skip turns. So this is basically almost two two to three continents, mostly a quarter of the world except for Europe, and it'll be a long time. So basically, that's all for today's mod review for the World Conqueror Two. So I know it's a long one, but I had to cover a lot of stuff about it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.